Anyway, um, if I stick a little bit of dry ice here into the flask, stick with me here for just a moment, if you will. Again, it starts to sublime immediately and give off a gas, or give off the gas, I should say. And so then we have it bubbling there, and of course, we <laughs> cap it, then it will. <laughs> Someone pick that up, please. Thank you. If we really get it on there. Those are already there, weren't they? Oh, yeah. Wait, try again. Those are already there, weren't they? Right. Yeah, of course they were. We all saw those those bumps up there before. I didn't just do that. I didn't just do that. What? <laughs> I don't know if I have enough dry ice. Oh, there you go. I'm not doing the feeling, I promise. Those are there already. <laughs> that is classic. <laughs> oh, I love it. I didn't do it. He walks in, he's like, did do what? I know, he did it actually. He didn't care. He's really cool. So, anyway. Boy. Of course, this is kind of the same principle behind the infamous dry ice bombs. I do encourage you, don't do a dry ice bomb. They're dangerous. Uh, they're, I, I, did, I did three last year. Well, probably four last year. I did a couple for chemistry, a couple for physics. Uh, and uh, I could only get them to work about 50% of the time. They are dangerous. There are some tricks to them. Uh, but don't try it. Uh, I know a safer way to do it this year, and I will be doing that. But anyway, have a good day.